Welcome, everybody. Good to see you here for this week's edition of Hamming on Hamming. So we'd start as usual just by reviewing projects and questions and what's going on. So any uh, questions or project updates that people would like to get? I'm done with the first video, but I'm having a hard time to set all the punctuations, commas, and um, how do you call it, not dots at the end. OK. Yeah, uh, the uh, transcription period. Yeah. Um, fi finding words and changing words, uh, that's very easy. But the punctuation um, in his uh, sentence, because he does not really make any breaks during talking. He just ends with one sentence and continues with the other. So you don't know whether that's it's a, it's a comma or uh, something else. Yeah, hey, very hey, fast. Hey, yeah. Hey, Toby. I'll tell you. Just getting the words, you know, and, and kind of doing a lot of that that helps out a lot. And just you know, whether you put a comma or a period in there, that you know, we're going to have another review where somebody else is then going to look at it again. So I mean, we're not shooting for a hundred percent. You know, an eighty to eighty-five percent solution. You know, it is pretty good and, and you in most of the time you can even pick up kind of when he switches from one topic to another because he'll walk from the You know, he'll, wherever he's lecturing back to the podium. And so those are hard breaks. So you can definitely put those in. But other than that, I do know because he does talk very fast. And I mean, it's one big, huge run on sentence. But but it's great. It's great stuff. So when it just comes comes to words, I could do two uh, other videos and then I don't I, I just will, uh, will focus on words mm -hmm. and on the heartbreaks you mentioned and yeah. Um, yeah, that's it yeah that would be great just tell me which other two you want to do I don't know that I've assigned two more for you so pick them out they can be stuff we've already even covered and just either way um, just let me know off the list uh, from the website well and I'll offer safety net consideration when somebody does a search on that transcript to find the concept the punctuation is not part of the search result <laughs> this is true all right so if you're getting the words right the gist of it right that's fine i have a Trivia question, Michelle, maybe you've encountered or somebody. Are there any practices for transcriptions when you're not sure of a word? It could be this word or that word. Is there some way to annotate it? You know, well, he said either happy or glad. I'm not sure. Happy or snappy. Yeah. That might be interesting. Yeah, I think what I asked for, if you did not understand it, is to put it in square brackets, because then I can search for the square brackets and jump to those points. You know, and if it is completely unrecognizable, put unrecognizable in square brackets or something. But I think in the, in the guidance I gave, that's what we're using as the indicator that I have no clue what he's saying, just for now until we can yeah. figure it out. And I'm going to put another word in the chat. SIC, yeah. which is Latin for thus or as it is. Sick, when you see that, means literally that was said, but it might not make sense. John, there's a app free application called Grammarly. If we take the text in either Word or PowerPoint, put it through it, it will add the uh, commas where needed. That's true that didn't exist in Hamming's days, even though he's looking over my shoulder. Can anyone see my background? Yes, we can see you. Coming through. <laughs> Coming through. Yeah. Instructors get a little meter. I think it's some kind of uh, computer vision metric uh, about student nervousness. And I notice that the the nervousness needle jumped as soon as you put hamming looking <laughs> over our shoulder, Marty. Uh, we, it, it, I can change it. 
Just kidding, but or am I? <laughs> Is that a future feature in Zoom? We'll see. Yeah. Hey, Marty, thanks for that Grammarly thing. And, and that's true. I can use that too. So once again, if we focus on the words and the things that are going to be searched and the, the general concepts, you know, Google, like I said, the Google, uh, YouTube does a great job trend, you know, doing the first one and we're just kind of going through it and kind of fixing it up from there. So, so it's great. I think we're going to have at least half of them done, hopefully by the time this course is over, if not more. So good. Glad to help. I changed the picture. This is hamming at my graduation in June of 1982. That's what I looked like back then. Okay, I'll get rid of that too. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Cool, who else? Uh, just a note on the lectures, chapter 16, the link to the Hamming 16 PowerPoint slides is broken. But the link to the PDF is good. Okay, right. can somebody do that or should I do it? I, I got it done. I'll take a look at it. Thank you, Michelle. And thanks for your patience, John. I was pretty laggardly getting your slides up, but everybody should find them now. I do uh, request that everybody, uh, in all your spare time as you finish your thesis, put it somewhere on your calendar to go through and answer questions that are in the lessons. And I think we'll probably schedule a session, a review session, where we go beginning to end through those. Maybe we'll stagger it, but I was thinking it might be just a, a good recordable session in its own right as to the merits of questions and the value of answers and and doing that as part of our production series of videos in the handing lectures. And again, one of the course motivations this time around is are we getting closer to distance learning on a self-paced basis, individuals taking the course on their own? And, and so I'm sure you're all going to be quite famous in terms of influence and a good outcome later on other people. So as we figure this stuff out, that's great. And, and it can only get better. So let's see what else. And actually on that note, I am expecting everybody to have their recommendations at the end of the course about what should, and we can do it as part of that session. What else should we do for making it a self-teachable distance learning? Is there another threshold that we should get through in the next version of the course? Is it ready right now? What have you? And I'm less interested in, well, always interested in good ideas and wild stuff about what in the future could be, but be pragmatic, be, be personal, don't be theoretical saying, what would it take for you to want to take this course? What would it take for you to succeed in taking a course given the assets we have? Is it good enough? What else do we need? Well, you. Each of you could not be more qualified to answer that question since you're right in the middle of things now. Bert, I notice you're having a little trouble with your uh, link stability. If you want to dial in on a phone, you're welcome to. No, um, uh, the, the, the whatever works for you. The internet stability as well, but uh, I don't get the video to work. I, I don't know why. So I restarted my computer twice, but no success until now. Uh, okay. No worries. So thank you. And Mike, welcome. 
Thanks, sir. Okay. Any anything else? I forgot what six stood for. The full phrase Sirach Karat Scriptum. Thus it was written. Boy, that's you don't remember your uh, high school Latin? I, either do I. Uh, 